We're back! Okay. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. <laughs> I love that. Yo, you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> See what Sans has to say. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? <laughs> Fortunately, two jobs mean twice as many legally required breaks. I'm in a girl piece. Wanna come? Here, let's go. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. That shortcut, huh? <laughs> hey, everyone. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. <laughs> Sometimes weirdos put whooping cushions on the seats. <laughs> Anyways, let's order. What do you want? Nah. For those of you that don't know me in real life, I am a sucker for cheese fries. I am an absolute sucker for cheese fries. I can go without burgers, like, but if I were to have to choose between like a burger and cheese fries, I'm gonna assume this is cheese fries and not regular fries. I'm doing fries. Hey, this sounds pretty good. Girl, I have a double order of fries. They're cheese fries in my head. Scratching his- is that his hand? So, what do you think? My brother. <laughs> he's cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be pretty cool if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower! <gasps> Why am I loving them so much? Here comes the grub. On some ketchup. With my cheese fries. By the way, this is getting really TMI. You do cheese, occasionally bacon, or something like chili, something like that. But I don't do it that often. Hot sauce and ranch. So I'm not doing ketchup. You tell me ranch. You want ketchup? No. More for me. <laughs> Hot sauce and ranch. That's the way to go. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree papyrus tries really hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head guard, head of the royal guard, and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. You ever heard of a talking flower? Wait, the one that tried killing us? Or the echo flower? Because we've seen both. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Okay, that's the one we're going at. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, the flower appears and whispers things to them. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Why do I feel like that might be Sans? Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. <laughs> oh, by the way, a flat broke. Can you put the bill? It's just a tip. Thousand. I can't pay that. I don't have the money. Just kidding, girl. Babe. Put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Let's see if we can talk to Groby. Girlsby says that your food is probably cold by now. Okay, we're gonna leave our fries there. We're gonna head on. We went up this way, right? 
Yeah. So we saw this guy checking the ice box and... I don't know what it is about this game that's just... Okay. When it scrolls like that, I can't really see it. Let's talk to Papyrus. So you came back to see me! I must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Are we going back to Girl Bees? <laughs> My house! It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. I'll put it back down. Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. Don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it! Aha! Interested in my food museum? <laughs> Please peruse my cart culinary art show. Half of the bridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty pack of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> what? <laughs> Catch that meddling canine! Curses. <laughs> Sand! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! My brother always goes out to eat, but recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. Absurd. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. The joke book. Take a look inside. It said the joke book was a quantum <laughs> physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. It's another quantum physics joke. <laughs> you decide to stop. Welcome to s Welcome to Scenic, my house. Enjoy and take your time. This is just fun. It's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and hang out. Like a pair of very cool friends. We're not going to go in yet, because we also have to investigate Santa's. A classic image. That always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Okay, so that's Santa's room. This is Papyrus's room. We're probably not going to get much done this episode. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. It did happen yesterday. At least in these. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a devil digit follower account. <laughs> of course, famous is Deep Price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always said to be bad puns in a goofy font. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Big Kaboo with Fluffy Buddy. The ending always gets me. Is it that fog Nido? Undine found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the, the for theoretical battle scenarios. <laughs> How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! He has a race car bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Let's look in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. 
So, um, if you've seen everything, you want to start hanging out? Okay, let's hang then. Hang out. Here we are. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. In case it's about prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official hangout typo for the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on the keyboard for friendship HUD. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Ask them to hang out. Mm-hmm. Human. I, the Great Papyrus. <laughs> We'll hang out with you. Really? Wowie! <laughs> We're senpai. We are now senpai. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? Senpai! You wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning! We broke him. Senpai is a broken papyrus. No! You planned it all! You're way better at hanging out than I am! N no! Your friendship power! <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the great papyrus, has never been beaten at hanging out and I never will! <laughs> I love the dialogue of this game! I can easily keep up with you, you see? I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. <laughs> I am, like, tearing up, just in case someone wants to hang out. Behold. <laughs> Are you thinking about a secret star? I love it! No! A genuine compliment! I love how this is still also done like a battle. Hanging out is equivalent to almost doing a battle. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what do you what you just said is invalid. This hangout won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat? My hat? <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present t just for you. We're gonna open it. Do you know what this is? Is that spaghetti? Spaghetti. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? It looks like it, and we're doing pixels. I can only do but so much. Okay, don't disappoint Senpai Papyrus. Right! But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Finely aged in oaken cast, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. We're gonna eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflex reflexively scratches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Urgh. No! Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. <gasps> have, have, I thought we were senpai. Or is he senpai now? Who is senpai? Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus. Hmm. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. It may be cool it a little bit. You are a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends. But I think you can reach your max potential if you live more for your own sake. I am just for mine. Hmm. Hey, I know the solution. I'm standing up with my boss, Udine. I think if you spread your friend energy out more, you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Udine. 
Oh, if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> okay, that's still locked. I don't know what it is with this game. But this game very much has my humor. This... I'm curious about this. Does it just jump us? Okay, so it just jumps us. So, I guess now... Oh, we have Papyrus's number! And Papyrus might actually answer, unlike Toriel. Snowden, humble Papyrus, that's the slogan, right? You are no help. Okay. It's just to keep a walking. Those look like they mean something. Let's hang out again sometimes. Let's see what the Echo Flower says. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. <gasps> I kind of love that. This is a box. Okay. <gasps> you can't use items that are in the box. Let's see if there's any. Okay. I think everything we've put in there. Okay. Those rocks are probably going to hurt us. Can't walk that one. Ooh. Is this the other echo flower? I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Are these actually going to hurt us? There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Yeah, we'll take it. Armor, defense, one finally protective piece of armor. I think... Yeah. Okay, so we have repl- That kind of looks cool. Hi, Udine. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier? Hmm? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Udine, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Udine, you don't have to destroy them, you see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. I can't move. <laughs> okay. Ludine is uh, kind of terrifying. Oh, yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Ah! Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. <laughs> okay, I don't know why. This might be just because I've played so much Tales of Symphonia. Why was I thinking Udine was going to be like a blue mermaid? That's honestly what I thought. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Okay, but yeah, I really did think that she was going to be like, a mermaid and not a thing of like armor. I guess she's more like Erza than like Tails Udine. But that's honestly what I thought. 
I'm not the best when it comes to, I think that she, ha I think that name is something in like Greek mythology, I'm not sure, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for this episode, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one when we tackle more of Undertale. See you guys then, bye!